Does it look like this? I don't know. Hey guys, I don't know about you, but I have people who come up to me all the time and they ask me, Vanessa, how are you so freaking happy all the time? Honestly, there's so many reasons for why I could be happy. From the activities that I do, to the people that I surround myself with, to the information that I absorb on a daily basis. So I'm just gonna share with you a couple things that add to my happiness. Maybe by sharing what I'll share, you can get inspired and maybe even get curious to explore some new things that could add happiness to your life. All right, here we go. Food can instantly change your state of being from being sad and crappy and grumpy to being deliriously happy. Is that like appetizing? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you knew I was gonna say it, but breakfast is the number one most important meal of the day. I start off my day by nourishing myself, feeling good, satisfied, and happy. So, take away. Eat your food, people. On to the next one. Number two. Besides eating a healthy breakfast, I need to get my body, you know, awake, ready for the day. The way I like to do that is by working out. Number one workout for me is boxing. I know, I'm 4'3 three and 3, no, 4'3, three, like that. I'm 4'11 and 3 quarters, okay? And that's already short enough. But I pack a punch, and I'm pretty small but mighty. So boxing for me really helps me get out, release those, uh, you know, any like negativity I got in my mind from the day before or a great way to just sweat it out and get those endorphins going, sending those chemical reactions into my brain that just, boom, wakes up that part of my brain that causes happiness. So go work out, go explore, go do some physical activity because for me, I know that when I do that, I'm just already ready for my day. Mm, my day just can't help but get better from there. On to the next one. The information that I absorb is key. From the Netflix shows that I watch, to the books that I read, to the podcasts and audio books that I listen to. My two favorite right now would be How I Built This by Guy Raz. I love this guy and I love all the entrepreneurs to the idealists to, to the movers and shakers of the world that are creating their own empires, you know, living their dreams. If you want to get inspired and you just don't know how to start your business or you don't know how to even take the first step to creating that path towards your dream, I go check out that podcast. My other podcast that I love listening to is more of a meditative podcast and this woman, like from her voice to the sound effects to the music that she incorporates to each individual episode is just, it blows my mind. She really transports me to a different state of being. And her name is Sarah Blondin and the podcast is called Live Awake. Go listen to her podcast because she has a lot of great gems that she'll just leave you with. One of the greatest things that make me happy is being able to help someone. Being of service to people in any way, shape, or form. Whether that be opening a door for someone who has their hands filled, to walking someone across the street, lending an, uh, an ear to someone who, who might just want to share their achievements or their struggles, to anything that I can do to be of service. Be grateful for what you have, go help someone, be of service, and it'll only just add to your happiness. And the best part of that is that you get to add happiness to somebody else's life. And that's the gift. It's just to help and share and be and love. And just do. Alright? On to the next one. Do you ever think to yourself, like, oh, I'm dreading going to work? Or, oh, why am I going to the job that I really don't even want to do? And there might not be anything wrong with the job. It's just like, in your heart, you may not feel that, you know, it's just not the place for me anymore. And there's something else that I should be doing. And it might be stemming back from when you were a little kid. Maybe you thought you always wanted to go to, to cosmetology school, be a hairstylist, and like, you know, do beauty videos, or, 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 or be an actor, or filmmaker, to, you know, I don't know, being in the stock market. But you never really gave yourself the chance because somebody else told you not to do it. It's not, it's a risky thing to do. It's not the safe bet. I am motivating you, helping you. I'm telling you, go do that thing. 
go meet that person. Go take that opportunity. Go put yourself in that experience, in that moment, to be closer to the thing that makes you happy. Not just financially, but spiritually, um, all the way down to your career. Like if, if, if you're living the life that you want, and if you're not living the life that you want, go change it. Because you have the choice to go do that. So what are you waiting for? And just go do it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I hope you got inspired. I hope you get to go explore some new ways to add happiness into your life. And I'll see you next time. All right? So, these out.